here we have some uh, electronic circuit boards that have been thrown away. We're going to take the parts out of them. For example, this one has four bridge rectifiers in it. We can use that to put on a windmill or some other alternative energy product. This one just has a few diodes, a couple amp piece, and then some smaller diodes. We could take a bunch of diodes the same size, we'll go in and we'll check what voltage they'll handle. We'll put them together and we'll make our own bridge rectifier out of those. There's another one. Some capacitors. This one's a 50 volt capacitor. There's a 25 volt. If the voltage isn't high enough for what we need, we'll just put two of them together and give us a higher voltage. We don't know what uh, amperage these bridges will hold or what voltage they are until we go in and look up the model number. We could actually leave the heat sink on there and they could handle the amperage better. There's some capacitors in there and another bridge here. There's another device on this one I found. A little tube used for arc suppression or lightning arrestor. Actually what they put in lightning arresters. Here's a surge suppressor. Most people see that and they're going to say, hey, that's a capacitor. That's not a capacitor. That's for surge suppression. I've got another one here. Another one for surge suppression. Not sure what these are. Let's actually go in and look them up. Here's some more. This one is three pins. This one has two. That actually gives you your uh, neutral in the middle, your uh, your ground in the middle, your neutral on one side, and your hot on the other. There's some more. What I'll do is I'll take some of the parts off of these, and I'll reuse them. Nice resistors, 20 watts. Got some more with nice resistors on them. Now this is good for measuring the load. What you do is you put your voltage across it, and then you measure what voltage you're actually getting. You take the ohms off of the resistor, and you calculate the amperage. I've seen a lot of people take and measure the voltage with it open. Well, that's nice for telling me what the maximum possible voltage is, and then they take and short it out to give you the amperage. Shorting out and giving me amperage tells me nothing. Because that's just shorted amperage. I can't measure anything with that. I, I can't tell what kind of uh, power I'm going to get out of that because I don't know what the voltage is while it's shorted. Most likely, the voltage where it's, when it's shorted is less than one volt. What I have is a soldering iron which has a sucker on it. For desoldering, we call it desoldering iron. This one's actually an old one. The new ones are pump. You squeeze the trigger and it runs a pump. Now this one doesn't have a pump, it just has me squeezing it. What we do is we put it on here, we melt it, suck it up. And we'll pull it off the board. Now I'll do that for some more of these boards. Take the parts off of them. It'll take me a while. And then I can use the parts for something else. Now we've got a nice pile of components. Got some heat sinks and our bridge is off. Bridge is here. And more heat sinks. Lots of capacitors. Some fuses. Some diodes. Got some small diodes. And we'll use those. Solder them to here. What I'll do with this is I'll build a uh, voltage multiplier or a voltage doubler. 
with those small diodes. Actually, what I found is uh, some half-wave bridges off of uh, computer power supply, and I'll use those. Got the resistors. Found another bridge rectifier. Pulled off a battery. Probably dead. Or lightning suppressor. There's another one in here somewhere. We'll find it later. And now we can build something. 